Rhonda Robson with Rhonda's Tri Artistry and thank you for joining me on my channel today. Today is um, one of, I don't know, one of my favorites I've done in a long time and I know I say that a lot on my channel but this really is. So what I did was I took a canvas that I had already painted on it and I painted on it again, poured on it again and it just didn't work. So I've been working with trying to master a pendulum effect. In fact, I have my pendulum hung up right here uh, to go later on today. But um, this one, what I did was I wanted to do like almost like a back, black background, similar to what I have back here, just bat, black, mm, black background. And <clears throat> I realized that because I was painting over a piece of art that was already had been poured on twice there was some uh, texture if you will so what I decided to do was brush on the Payne's gray actually and Payne's gray depending on what you utilize it for can look anywhere from black to almost a blue gray to a um, dark gray so um, when you paint it it almost turns black and so what I did was I painted this and then I did my first real pendulum on it and this is the piece. I call her Black Beauty because she is beautiful. Um, I don't know if you can see it with the um, glow, but I ended up texturizing her with my brush before I did the pendulum because when I brushed it on, when I was brushing on the paint, the acrylic paint, Again, the pores, the two pores before it, added a little texture. And so, so this way I was able to hide those texture marks utilizing my own texture. And it, it has to be one of my favorites. Uh, I'm just in love with this. You can hang it this way. You can hang it this way. I mean, it's just gorgeous, right? Um, I really love it. And I utilize Payne's Gray uh, Master Touch acrylic paint and no gloss and then I used metallic white for my um, pendulum effect. So I think you're going to really enjoy this video. Let's get you down on the canvas. I've been talking way too long um, but let's get you down and let's get you started on seeing this one. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that notification bell and please let me know down below what you thought about this video or what you thought about the painting. All right. Let's get you down on the canvas. Bye for now. Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna paint this one right here. Um, was a really pretty Dutch pour, <laughs> but obviously my uh, my um, canvas was not level while I was driving, so now I have a new drying rack. <laughs> um, but I'm going to paint this Payne's gray, and then I'm going to do my very first pendulum swing on it today. Uh, with my new apparatus. So it's going to be char charcoal, uh, blue, gray, that um, Payne's gray um, over the canvas, and then white. I think that will pop really nicely So for my first one. So let's get you down here and let's get at least started of getting the Payne's gray on this. All right. See you in a second. So I use the Payne's gray that I use happens to be a master's touch Payne's gray. Um, it's the only one I can find that I like. So we're going to use Master's Touch Payne's Gray today. one color um, and it's black so I think I might come in and make some texture because what I'm afraid of is there's stuff underneath that I'm seeing in the light and I don't want to see that right so just add texture to it
So you see how I take my brush and I just kind of like go like this? That's creating a sheen texture. It's actually kind of cool. I really like it. Okay, I like it. So I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna do my pendulum swing on that. So, bye.
Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.